The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals are the blueprint for achieving a better and more sustainable future for all. The 17 interconnected goals address today's global challenges including food security, climate change and human rights. Agriculture plays a key role in many of these goals by helping to bring an end to poverty, with almost 80% of impoverished people living in rural areas. Agriculture also preserves life on land as we know it. 736 million people today live in extreme poverty, surviving on less than $1.90 per day. Enlarging the agricultural sector in low-income economies could halve poverty. But to truly end poverty, inequalities must also be addressed. Women produce half of the world's food, yet they have less access to land and improved seed, fertilizers and pesticides. If women farmers had access to the same resources as men, their yields would increase by a third, which would feed a further 150 million people. Increased yields and incomes help all farmers, women included, put food on the table and send their children to school, the building blocks for good health and education. Plants provide 80% of the human diet. However, crops are facing increasing pressure from pests, disease and changing weather caused by climate change. One third of the food produced today is lost or wasted, which is also a waste of the water, seed and the other resources that went into producing it. Modern agriculture and sustainable systems can help reduce food loss and waste, while also preserving water. They also ensure resources can be used sustainably and help farmers adapt to climate change. Achieving all of these goals will only be possible if we work together. The agricultural value chain, which includes academia, the private sector, grain and feed handlers and farmers, hopes to partner and collaborate with governments and civil society to protect our resources and sustain a growing population. With sustainable agriculture, we can feed the world and support a healthy planet, ensuring that no one is left behind by 2030. For more information, visit croplife.org.